okay people uh, this is the lecture about factor analysis what actually factor analysis is this is performed in case if our question is adapted and we have made it ourselves so it actually answers our questions our items representing the single variable means if our items are actually presenting our variable so for this we conduct principal component analysis this is just the basic uh, introduction we are not going to perform and we are not going to take it along uh, so in our research so let's just uh, to give you a little bit uh, just um, I can say that uh, a hint and a knowledge about factor analysis I'm just going to perform it for you people so here is our variables where you have one two three and then items item six item ten if you have more items for example if, if for any variables you have the greatest number of items is six so you're going to write up to six you're going to write item number you're going to extend it if your items are in greater number for any variable in our study we have 10 items so greatest for organization commitments will extend it to 10 then you write values for eigen personica kmo and bartley then what important is eigen value should be greater than 1 factor loading should be greater than 0.4 kmo between 0.5 to 0.7 and then bartley should be less than 0 0.05 so this was actually important for you to remember now let's perform factor analysis in our data so let's go and just take uh, first you're going to select analyze and then go on to here comes dimension reduction and then factor click on factor now you're going to select items one by one so let's select them collectively select R and put them in variables table then display variables name and then go to descriptives the first thing then the initial solution is already selected and from here select KMO and Bartley so KMO and Bartley test then what next you have to consider is you just have to go to initial and then KMO and Bartley and then continue next is extraction in extraction you have to select covariance matrix then first principal components and then covariance matrix click on it like this okay now this is unrotated factor solution is already selected so just uh, eigenvalue 1 this is fine now just move to continue and then rotation in rotation you have to select uh, very max select on very max just now click on very max so it gives you a rotated solution under it also which is and then conversion 25 continue then scores nothing from here then options again you can dis uh, select the option that how to display by size or coefficient so just continue you don't need any and then next step is just go okay with it now what you have to do is okay with it like this okay now see here you have got different tables uh, that actually give you the solution to your factor analysis now what you have to do is you have to see the where actually your values are lying that you need to put in the table we said that we needed eigenvalue we needed KMO and Bartley's test we needed percentages of variance to put under it so first of all, we're going to see where actually KMO and Bartley test. We have it over here at the top. So let's see KMO 0.783. This is fine. Okay, next was our Bartley test. That was 0 0.00. You have to see that whether all of your tests lie in the ranges that I've explained you or not. So that is your task now. But uh, actually we have been performing our data and computing on the basis of reliability since our question was adopted so we will follow the same procedure but i'm telling you about it in case if you have adapted questionnaire so next you think is was your percentage of variance so let's go to percentage of variance what you have to do these are actually all your percentage of variance you all have to see rescaled values and then this is your type total eigenvalue so this is the percentage of variance and then eigenvalue then come down and then you see component matrix this is where you get your values all factor loadings from that you enter in the table in front of your 
uh, in, under the your variable and in front of your items number these are the values so i already told you that all your factor loading should be greater than 0.4 so all the loadings less than 0.4 will be omitted and deleted and will not be computed as you see that all of the values here are except the last one are less than 0.4 so they are all are being deleted over here but you see uh, we have our adopted questionnaire that have already been tested so we don't need to perform any factor analysis for our questionnaire so we will go on by completing our SPSS analysis with reliability we have computed our variables on the basis of reliability so we will go on performing our analysis further with that so in the next lecture I'll tell you that how to perform correlation so stay tuned to our next lecture